Welcome to Project Hardway. In today's video, I'll be putting together the bearing hub and brake rotor assembly on a 1997 Honda Accord. In my previous video, I took all that stuff apart without a press or, you know, the right tools. So I'm gonna do the same thing, put it all back together again without a press or the right tools. And stick around for the end of the video where I show you why you shouldn't waste your money on a bearing race removal tool. Now, before I get started, let it be noted, I'm not a professional mechanic. However, I'm not afraid to get out there and try to make something work with what I've got. That being said, let's get into it. Open up the Rock Auto Box. What do we got here? Look at that, an old Jeep, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's going on the refrigerator. So in this box, we've got bearings, Timken, and spark plugs, that's for something else. Yeet. Now we'll take a look at these bearings. Yep, it's a bearing. I'm gonna put it in my vise over here. I'm not gonna get crazy with the pressure on it. I just need it to hold it there while I smack it in place. That and I don't wanna damage the outside of that bearing where it goes into the, uh, the old spindle there. Where'd my 30 millimeter socket go? I'm not just gonna go all crazy with the hammer. I'm just gonna tap it a little bit to get it started. Last thing you wanna do is gall up the edges of that. Now I'll take my socket. Just drive her home. Yep. Just drive her home. We're gonna have a problem here. I'm an idiot. This time on Project Dumbass. That race is from the old bearing assembly. Guess what? It's gotta come off there. Well, with uh, infinite stupidity comes infinite problems. So I knocked the hub back out of the new bearing and lo and behold, the race off the new bearing came with it. So now I've gotta get this off of here without damaging it. And then I've got to get this off of here. There's a number of ways to get these races off. Um, if you don't care and don't need it, you can cut into it with an angle grinder or a small uh, cutting wheel on your Dremel. Zinc. And then it'll split with some force. Or you can heat it up and pull it off. You get the feeling I'm about to do a combination of things. So we're going to get the torch and uh, heat up this new race and hopefully not destroy it get it off there and then see what i can make happen with that race on the back <sighs> ain't no two ways about it i screwed that up um, i'm not even gonna put the time lapse in there because it's a waste of time see how much i'm sweating so i torched the hell out of this thing Hit it with a pry bar, hit it with the hammer and the pry bar, do everything I can not to tear anything up, and it hasn't budged. There might be a couple of different things. I might be able to get some type of tool to pull that off there, or I've made a mistake. And when you make mistakes, you lose time. You also lose money. So hopefully I don't have to reorder another hub assembly uh, or a bearing assembly. But, um... It's also about four o'clock in the morning and nothing's open right now. So I've got another side to do. I'm going to make sure I don't make the same mistake. I'm going to get the other side done and uh, then I'll figure out what I can do with the mistake I just made. So on to that. Now, after you cut a groove in this thing, whatever's left of it, hopefully you can smack it with a hammer and make it split. The problem is I've got this big old one inch chisel. Not exactly the tool I was looking for, but a tool that could get it done. Hmm. 
go cut some more. Hey, something's moving. There we go. And she gone. Yeah. That a girl. Oh. Well, after the debacle with the other side, I needed a win. Now, we can smack this one into the other bearing. Maybe. I'm going to stick it back in the freezer for a minute, make a drink, and then uh, go back after it. So I have to make a confession. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Please forgive me, Dale. But on that last toe assembly, I went complete dumbass. Or full retard. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. So <laughs> I was about to smack that hub into the new bearing without that rotor on there. Um, kind of forgot that you have to put the rotor on the hub before you put it in there because it's all sandwiched together. Thanks, Honda. So, you see there before you my freshly turned rotor. And by freshly turned, I mean freshly turned over my wallet. So, I went to the old Reelys down the road from my house. The guy mic'd it and said, eh, it's close. I can do it. Turns out, he didn't have the cone for his lathe to... Uh, turn these ridiculous rotors, but he said the one down the street. They should have it Tell them we've already mic'd it and I said okay appreciate it Drive a couple miles down the road to the other O'Reilly's far closer into town They mic'd it again even though I said hey, I just had the same mic. They told me it was good and uh, The guy told me no. He said he can't do it. I was mad I was Real mad. I just kind of gave him one of those looks like seriously I wasn't too petty though. I at least did take my rotors with me. They're still in the trunk of my wife's car. Um, so, another order off Rock Auto. I went on ahead and said to hell with it. Bought a uh, kit that they sell that's got the rotors and the pads. So, hey, two fresh brand new rotors and a fresh set of ceramic pads. I think it'll be alright. So, uh, now to smack this one in, and uh, we know this one's good, so I just got to get it in there. And hey, I'll be ready to at least put one side of the car back together. So again, just like the other side, a few light taps to get it started. I do have some grease on there. Got the uh, old brass hammer out, because again, I don't want to gall anything up. Now that she's starting to go in there, grab the old 33. No, it's a 30, isn't it? Yep, it's a 30. Grab the old 30 and my BFH, and I hope it doesn't fall on my toes. Before you go sideways. Yeah, it's sideways. I should have earplugs in for this. Or, God, maybe I should have just went on ahead and went to my buddy's house and used this press anyway, right? Look, don't tell me what to do. There we go. She straightened out now. We're getting somewhere, and by somewhere I mean nowhere. I say that, no, we're getting up there. It's just, it's some effort. I was chasing the damn thing around. Almost there. Guys, Let's shine a flashlight up in there where I can see. Look for a gap. This uh, backing plate 
for the brakes will never be the same. I think she's just got a few more millimeters she can go in there. You want tinnitus? Because that's how you get tinnitus. All right, she in there. I'm gonna take this one out of this spindle and put it on the passenger side because I only took one spindle off the car. There we go. There you have it. Bearing hub rotor assembly. I don't ever want to do this again. Well, looky there. That's a wheel back on the car. And before you ask, yes, I notched the axle nut. And before you ask, yes, I put new cotter pins in the uh, ball joint and the tie rod end. And before you ask, yes, I sprayed off the rotor with a uh, brake cleaner, get all my grubby junk off of it. And uh, before you ask, yes, we will take it out and do a proper brake pad bed in procedure. Proper brake pad, bre bleh. I knew I couldn't do it a second time. That being said, um, there's still a snafu of my idiocy with that thing. So my little snafu here, I've got the old race on and the new race. And the, the, those don't go together. There's a couple of different ways I could have fixed this. I could have taken my Dremel and cut a slot on this side and a slot on this side and smacked it with the chisel like I did on the other one and gotten it off. But sometimes you've got things that you know you'll do again. Not necessarily this, but you know you'll need get, to get the races off again one day on something else. So sometimes it's okay to have a tool. now. There are tools that you can get from AutoZone and O'Reilly's, places like that, that they rent to you that will remove this race. But none of those stores in my area had one available for me to rent. So sometimes, again, you gotta go buy a tool. So I bought this from Harbor Freight. It's about 50 bucks. And this is a bearing separator and puller set. This is the first time I'm opening it, so uh, consider this an unboxing video. Ooh, it's got things and foam. So essentially, what this will do you spread it apart, and I'll probably need the bigger one. Um, but it's got a concave surface in here with a very sharp lip on the edge. You get that down behind the race and begin to tighten it down and it will pull that race off of the hub. Now my race that I want to get off doesn't need that. And it's got this hard, tall edge around the back of it. I don't want to damage that. So what I'll do is I'm going to flip it over backwards and just use the flat side of it to pull it the rest of the way off the hub here. Yeah, that'll do. Now, the one problem I do already see me having is that unlike a truck or something like that, or a car that's got a solid spindle on it, there's nothing for this to press against to apply pressure back the other way to pull this out. I'm going to put these short shafts in here. No need for the long ones. And you put your washer and nut on these forks here. Make sure you got it. I'm not going to tighten it down too much because I want to be able to shift it and center it. Now I've got to find something that'll sit on the inside edge of that hub and be able to be pressed against. If it were on the car, you'd have the axle nut in there and you could, but I don't want to go through doing that. Actually, no, I couldn't because it goes the other way. I'd have to put it on there backwards. Let me see what I can find. 
that might work. So these are the pieces that go on your bushings on a sway bar end link kit. This is actually the ones that come with your basic generic energy suspension poly kit. If I can get that to line back up, that will not sink down. I'm going to stack a few of them because they're, you don't want to have them bending or bowing. But they got a little hole in the middle that this should go into a little bit. And then they won't press down into the hub and we'll be ready to rock. Hopefully we can pull this race off without any issues. There we go. Now, I'll just slowly start applying pressure. This might work out better in my vise, but I don't want to go through putting it in there. So we'll just try to hold it by hand. Or on its side. Yeah, yeah. Got it here in the lonely man's extra set of hands. And that's much better than trying to do it sitting on the table, I'll tell you that. That's starting to go sideways on me because my washers aren't lined up. Oh, come on. Wait, oh, don't gotta worry about it. There it goes. Success! Now, we gotta get the old race off. Now, to be perfectly honest, I think I need to be using the larger piece of this set. Whew! that oh wow it doesn't it doesn't get big enough that's what she said i don't know if this is going to spread open wide enough i'm phrasing to get around the race please i just need a few threads i know one thing we're going to test the integrity of the threads on this thing because to start these nuts are ha! got he ha! these nuts are just barely going to be on the shafts i'm going to be very patient in the beginning because these nuts are barely threaded on to the studs here slowly and carefully this is where patience is important because i want to try to keep these even i also don't want to destroy the threads on these shafts, I feel like it's bending instead of getting into the race like it should. I may have just spent $50 just to keep from tearing up the old race or the new one. Might have to bust out the Dremel on this one. Yeah, so far, I'm not getting the separation that I'm supposed to get. That's 50 bucks I'll be getting back tomorrow. There we go, got it done. Not exactly the right way to do it, but it is a way to do it. It worked and it's still working. Join me in the next video where I clean up a few things on that car and move it down the road. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And remember, sometimes you gotta do things the hard way. Thanks for watching.